Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to add video and sound icons and set them up to link to video and sound. To add an icon, you would choose Insert, Image, and then Search the Web. In this case, I'm going to type in Sound Icon. Keep in mind, if you choose an icon that is in color, you can change the color to complement your color scheme. I'm going to go ahead and double click on this sound icon in order to add it to my poster. I'm going to resize it so that it's a reasonable size. What you want to do is perfect the one icon and then you will copy and paste it. So I'm going to go ahead and see what colors might go with my color scheme. I will go to Format Options. I will choose the drop down arrow of No Color and look for a color that will complement my color scheme. Maybe I'll choose a light shade of orange because orange also goes with this color scheme. I'm now going to search for a video icon. I will choose Insert image, search the web, and type in video icon. And I will look for a video icon. I like this one, so we'll double click. I will go ahead and go to the drop down arrow of mask images and make it a circle to match the circle of the other sound icon. And I'm going to make it roughly the same size as my sound icon. I'm going to research the different colors by going to Format Options and looking for a color. Maybe I'll choose this color orange because those oranges complement each other. After doing some experimentation, I decided to go with a light shade of gray so that there is contrast on my poster and they're easy to see. And a gray color tends to be neutral. So you need at least two sounds because not all the animals you choose will be making a sound. So I'm going to select the sound icon and do Control C and then Control V to paste it. That way they're the exact same size. If you want more, then paste another one, Control V. Some students will have a sound for every animal if that's possible. I'm now going to select the video icon and do Control C, Control V. And I'm going to paste it to two more times because you need a total of four videos. I'm going to now place them consistently on each animal. Now that my video and sound icons are set up, I can go find video. I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm going to search for a good video. So I'll type in tiger. I will go to the filter option and I will specify less than four minutes. I'm going to choose the National Geographic video because they tend to have really good videos. After watching the video, I realized that this is something my peers would want to watch. Keep in mind when looking for videos that your peers will be interested in watching the video. So this is a good video. I will select the URL. I will right click and choose copy or control C. I will return to my poster, select the video icon, and then choose the insert link option. If that's not showing, you just click on more to see what other options you have. I will then right click and choose paste and then apply. Now that you know how to set up a video icon to link to a video, we will go to findsounds.com and I'll go ahead and type in tiger and you need to be able to listen to the sound to make it a hyperlink. If you can't hear the sound, you can't use the link. Do make sure that the sound matches the animal. Find sounds is not perfect. Some of the animals do not match the animal you're looking for. I actually had to go to YouTube to research tiger sounds because some of these sounds actually sounded like a lion. After listening to this one, I have determined that that's the tiger sound. I will highlight the URL. I will right click and choose copy. I will return to my poster. Go to the tiger sound icon, click on the hyperlink, right click and paste, and choose apply. I will continue to set up my hyperlinks. This concludes the session on how to set up hyperlinks for sound and video. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.